And the baptism of the Holy Ghost gives you more power. And ultimately, what they're saying, the evidence of you receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost is speaking in tongues. So there's a whole lot going on there. I don't want to, you know, confuse anybody, but ultimately, yes, that lady was out of order. And no doubt she was probably uh, taught that way. Yes, sir, Brother Brandon. And so again, um, we don't, I'm not saying that the lady is not saved. What I am saying, however, is, she, you know, she's going to be held accountable for her teaching. So yes, sir. Back, um, back to women not being able to speak in church or tongues in church. Um, does God not give them that gift? Um, yeah, in fact, there, there, there were uh, women who were prophets. But this particular text is talking about in the church. So when we all come together, there's an order. The women were not to uh, be teaching men, and the women were not to be prophesying in church. So they can use their gifts. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I've said this so many times. God has always used women. Listen, really the only office that is not um, open for a woman is the office of the pastor. And so what happens, you know, Blonda is our women's ministry leader. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, there, is, listen, there is no lack of, of opportunities for women to be used in the body of Christ. There is no lack. And so what happens is the enemy causes a people to start looking at the tree that they're not supposed to eat from. Yes, sir. Uh, the other office, would it be deacons? Yes. Yes, the same chapter, 1 Timothy chapter 3. It's gender specific to it. Gender specific. Absolutely. Any other questions? Uh, Brother Bob in the back. It's good to see you too, Brother. And thank you all for the questions. Examine what I am saying because I can be wrong. I'm not in error, uh, but I believe I'm right. Yes, sir. Are there different stages of heaven? If, well, he, he, he brought in something. Uh, are there stages of heaven? Give, give me back the mic. Let me, I want, want you to clarify. What do you mean stages? If I can think right, they said that there are different stages of heaven for those who were, I don't know how to put it, I'll put it this way just to get my point. Those that were blessed and those that just happened to stumble into heaven. And I would say no in that sense. Now, will there be rewards? There will be those who will be rewarded and they will have basically more rewards because of how they live in this life. But I don't think heaven is, is staged in, in, in the way that most people. You say some people are, will just stumble into heaven. I don't think so. We Listen, we are all getting to heaven the same way. We are all getting to heaven by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. That's our belief in what Christ has done on the cross is what gets us into heaven. That alone. We don't get there by works, but once we're, uh, we will be judged based upon the works that we do. Uh, not to get into heaven, but the rewards that we'll have while in, in heaven. Yes, sir. You did say there would be different bodies up there. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, I will explain that fully in the weeks to come because that's 1 Corinthians chapter 15 where it talks about bodies terrestrial and it talks about these different bodies. We know that um, our physical bodies, when they are, when we die, we, they are placed into the grave. Um, our souls go to be with God. In First Thessalonians chapter four, starting at verse thirteen, he's talking.
talking to the Thessalonians who um, were basically grieving over the loss of loved ones. And he reminds them, he says, we don't agree. I don't want you to be unaware, brethren, about those who have fallen asleep nor sorrow as those who have no hope. And then he talks about uh, when the trumpet is sound, the dead in Christ, that is those who have trusted in Christ, uh, will meet them in the air. And so at that point, I believe our, our, our physical body will be united with our spiritual body, and ultimately we will have a glorified body. We will, be, we will have a body like Christ. And so he had a glorified body. I'll, I'll get into that uh, much deeper here in chapter 15. Good questions. Any other questions? All right. Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for the truth of your word. We have a desire to know you in a deeper way. God, you keep on making a way for us. For those who are under the sound of my voice, who have a desire to know you in a real way, they, they can do so. They can do so by believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross and that he was buried and God raised him from the dead according to the scriptures. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. So if you're here and you have a desire to be in relationship with Christ, just pray with me. Father, I am a sinner. I acknowledge my, my sin before you. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you were buried and I believe that God raised you from the dead with all authority. And so I place my trust in you alone for salvation. God, I thank you according to your word that once you save me, you seal me with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. So teach me who I am in you. Fill me with your spirit so that I can live the life that I could not live before. Father, I ask this in the powerful name of Jesus the Christ, the name that is above every other name. It's in his name that we pray and give thanks. All the saints of God said, Amen. Amen. We are dismissed. Listen, if you prayed that prayer, uh, we will have someone in the conference room in the back that would love to talk with you and get your information and begin to at least point you in the right direction so you can have a vibrant relationship with Christ. God bless you. We will see you all uh, Wednesday at Bible study.